Hello everybody, welcome back to All The Mods 9. Last episode we finished up on some nice power. We've got our we've got our copper jetpack. We set up an early refined storage and some nice little functional storage drawers here to store all of our ore. We still need to put a importer or exporter onto this so if we drop any ores into our machine here it'll go ahead and just chuck them in there but yeah we still haven't moved everything over yet um, we still have quite a bit to <laughs> move but we made a 16k storage disk so I think we will be okay at least without this chest here if we don't import this chest we'll be fine and what I might do actually is connect this up with an external storage interface as well because sophisticated storage barrels can also be used with your external storage buses. So, silent gear. Let's look at some upgrade stuff. Okay, so the material grader I just learned, which I didn't know this was a thing in silent gear, allows you to upgrade the tier of the materials you put onto your tool. I did not know that, and it needs dust. I wanna check the materials in this. Glowing dust, is that just glowstone? Okay, that's tier one though. Okay, they go from tier one to tier five. And those are just the catalysts, which you always have a chance to lose. Glittery dust, okay, so these dusts are quite expensive actually. Tier Two is probably the highest we can get to, which you need blaze gold for, which is gold and blaze powder, which we don't have. I don't believe we have any blaze rods. So we might, we might uh, go to the nether. I think if we want to be able to do more exploring, we're going to need a better jetpack. And for a better jetpack, we're going to need to go to iron, or actually we can do silver, right? But silver still needs basic coils, which is going to be 44 iron, because you need 11 coils. Well, there's 43. So that's the coils basically covered. We need some redstone. And we should have silver, I think, up there, right? Yeah, there we do. Okay. Now, the copper one, it uses 85 FE per tick. But the vertical speed and the uh, horizontal and hover speed are quite bad. This will increase the usage of fuel, but we can also store uh, almost five times the amount of fuel. And our vertical speed is increased by about 60%. And our hover speed is much better as well. So we'll hover, we will hover more without moving down as much. And it gives us another armor point. So that's always nice. Let's go ahead and charge this bad boy up, and then we will go to the nether again. Oh, a blue boss just spawned. Let's, uh, let's go tell him hello. Oh, it's a, a witch, too. Good lord. Oh, you're... You were very rude. There we go. Nice. What'd you drop me? A blue... Leather tunic. Okay, well, I can't say that I'm super happy about that. I mean, it does have mending. We can see how it compares. But it only has mending, and it does not... It does not compare in regards to stats. But it does have mending, so we'll drop that in there. And later on, we can mess with that. And we can just pull the mending off of there. And for something like that, we can go to... We can do Corail Tombstones here. We can make one of these tombstones once we get some essence of undeath from some mobs and then we can start getting some then we can start getting some souls to be attracted to those graves all right let's uh not let's not almost die this time oh i forgot to repair my axe so let me be careful while using that oh he got the backpack on him that's the scary music Probably do a large tunnel and we'll just go down and see if we break into lava. Okay. We still go down. What is this? Uh, still go down. We need to get to a certain level. Is that ancient debris right there? 
Oh man, you look so weird. Why does it look so weird? Well, this is our first ancient debris, so that's cool. Hidden in the depths. Let's do it at this level. And we'll go up and we will mark this as our mine. Mark it as a green color. Where's that purple boy at? Oh, he's up there. He will probably kill us. Hello, good sir. Oh, it's a pigman. You have pretty good knockback resistance, don't you? There we go. You're not going anywhere now, silly. Thank you. I'm sorry about this, Eddie Ovani, but you could have some nice gear, and I want that. Did you give me a sword? You gave me a shield. Ooh, a decent shield. Gives me plus one armor, knockback resistance, and cooldown reduction. It's not the best shield, but hey, it's still something. Blocks uh, durability damage, and it gives me an XP boost. It's better than nothing. Better than a standard shield, so I will take that. All right, and we'll do some mining in this direction. Break that, and then do this, and large mining tunnel. Oh, these guys are annoying. The worst part about mining in all the mods nine, or are those from Minecraft? I don't, I don't know. I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in a while. Okay, we already reached some lava, so that's fun. One thing this mod pack has always been missing is a hotkey to change from uh, different different mining stances from FTB. From the FTB Ultimine. That's the one thing that this has always been missing. We are now out of space. Slash home. Oh, it's all caps. Slash home. Let's move our uh, home inside. Inside our totally safe uh, base that we have here. Oh. We actually have an essence of undeath. That is really neat. I'm glad I checked that. So we can go ahead and make a tombstone. Which would be really nice. There's an item you can get from Evilcraft that it is a pickaxe and it gives you fortune 5 however there's a massive debuff on it as well but let's see, evil craft it's this one here it's the vengeance pickaxe you get the curse of vengeance so what Corail tombstones does when it spawns the um, spirits there's a book called the disenchantment book if you hold an item in your hand and you hold the disenchantment book in your offhand you can pull the enchantments off of an item so in this case we will pull the fortune 5 off and the curse of vengeance off of this vengeance pickaxe and then we can put it on our pick the pickaxe of our choice but to get to that point we we actually need to mess with evil craft uh, which I have not done in a long time I believe we need a blood infuser which we need a blood infusion core Meaning we need power gems, the dark power gems, you get a blood in- Hmm. I believe you can just drop blood and you drop the dark power gem into the blood. So let's mess with, let's mess with some evil crafts real quick. Get the, need the blood extractor. Okay. Collecting blood. So now when I hit things, um, it will gather blood. Just gonna put my ancient debris in there for now. Oh my goodness, we have so much stuff. I didn't realize we had uh, blaze rods in here. That's nice as well. I think we'll also make a stack upgrade and see if we have any quests from the backpack mod. Oh, we have evil craft stuff. I didn't even create a blood extractor and get a blood extractor. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know they had a blood or an evil crafts quest line. This is neat. This can go ahead and answer my questions then. You need to collect at least five buckets worth of blood in your blood extractor. Once collected, make a hole with at least five blocks out of space and then fill it with the blood. Okay. Well, well, let's go and kill some stuff. 
axe is going to be very, very nice. It's... Oh my gosh, another one. Die. Die. Sneaky devil. A husk. Thank you. Man, having the, uh, the bat backpack, the bat bat, Having the bat backpack on is really nice for the night vision. Ooh, rose bushes. I'll take some of these, actually. You're so fast. Goodbye. Oh man, the whole squad. Oh, another one. Ha! <laughs> I have evolved wings. Well, I guess we have plenty of blood now, right? Let's make a little blood area here. Oh, you actually want the smoke. More leather stuff. You give horrible freaking rewards, man. Let's, uh... Grab a dark gem or two. Put that in there. It'll absorb all the blood. What the hell? You just crit me. Hold me critting. Let's get another one. Oh, we're out of blood. You got blood for me? Is that full? Okay, that's full. Nice. Alright. Hardened blood. Which we need a drying basin for. Which we need black dye okay I'll have to kill some squiddies hello squid thank you for your service we need a drying basin we have now a drying basin let's move this over here get some blood in there and we'll let it dry. Okay, we have the drying basin. The dark sticks, which need a dark gem and undead planks. So that's what we're missing, huh? Is the undead. Undead. You need an undead sapling. Which you just make a dead bush into a blood infuser. Okay. Blood infuser. Which I need a blood core, which I need hardened blood shards for. Which we're working on blood, but we need... That means we're going to need more dark gems, because we only have one more. We have two of these dark power gems. Um, which we're going to need one for that, but... Other than that, we did make a mistake, I guess, in making two. Hmm. Are you dry yet? You are dry. Nice. Take you. We need the shards. Hardened blood. How do I turn you into shards? I cook you. Okay. Get cooked. Can we uninfuse this? <laughs> Can we uninfuse this, please? I suppose not. But now we need a blood infuser, which we can get with this. Make our blood infuser. Okay. This just needs blood, right? It doesn't need power. So that means we can just drop it here and put blood in there. And we need a bush. We have a bush. 
over here in the storage. No, we do not. We do over here, though. Okay, and if we infuse this with blood, then we should get an undead tree, and then we can throw it into the hopper botany pot. So we know for sure we won't use, lose the sapling. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out, and I'll drop that in there. Grow, boy. Grow. Now we need dark gems. Um, does this tell us where we can find them in the world? It does not. Uh, let's go to the quest book, see what it gives us. Oh, we also finished some quests. Maybe it'll give us a dark gem. It did not. Oh, maybe it will. Dark bowl of whatever that was. Crushed dark gem. Oh, it gave us the... Yo! Yo! We don't even have to do what we were going to do now. We got the pickaxe. That's a 0.87% chance, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> we got the best reward. We didn't even have to wait for it, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Um... Goodbye, Evil Craft. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That is crazy, man. What's our luck, bro? What is our luck? That's crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. Now we need to make a grave. And we need more of these and these. Poop. Dark marble. Now we can do this. And we can just create a simple tombstone. A simple grave. We'll go put this over by the blood, actually. It's just right behind it. And now is this is this chunk loaded? Oops. I don't think this is chunk loaded, it is not. Okay. What I'm actually gonna do is I think I'm gonna increase my, the amount of chunks that I can have loaded. Oops. Add. Do set. Just set it to 100. Now that should give me Extra force load chunks, right? Yeah, okay. So we got, now we can do 125. All right, sweet. We can force load our entire area now. Beautiful, beautiful. And I will go ahead and just claim more as well. I want to claim that tower over there. Especially when we get the, because I plan on, I want to do a mine colonies. Um, I'll probably do it down here, actually. I'll do mine colonies down here, just a few buildings. Um... So that'll be fun to mess with. Put those carrots in there. So you guys can make babies. Yeah, make more babies. You guys are big. Oh, 126 iron while we were gone. Look at that. Very nice. More iron is always good. Okay. Well, while we wait for that tombstone to fill up, which is so sick, I'm so happy. Let's grab these rewards. Let's see what we get out of these. We got a grave dust, and I don't know what else we got because it didn't show up. Oh, we got a book. We got frostbite three. Okay. Well, we got another grave dust, so that's cool, I suppose. Let's cook up this bread. And we'll go to sleep. So we slightly stepped into evil craft. I don't plan on going down here. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> It's crazy that we actually got the uh, Vengeance pickaxe. That is actually nuts, man. That's nuts. I want to get more done with Silent Gear. Let me in there. I'll do that and this and boom, boom. Complete that quest. Right? Oh, I need to click this first. There we go. And I need a pickaxe template. We'll hold this. Put that away. Go back into Silent Gear, collect these, collect this, and collect... Oh, we get a blaze rod. Neat. Collect a blueprint package. I don't know what that gives us. Contains some blueprints. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got an iron build wand. Nice. Boom. Oh, damn! We got quite a bit of stuff. What happens if we put this on here? So, we have Jagged 3. Crushing, brittle, lustrous, flexible, magnetic. What's our stats? So we're at 8.6 obsidian. This is 6.9, 6.09 obsidian. 
So it's faster with the same durability and I get more reach. Yeah, I get 0.5 reach. Okay. So it's quite quite a bit faster actually. It just doesn't have it doesn't have a higher mining level, but still it's quite a bit faster. So I think I'm going to do that. Actually, that might have been a waste doing that. Yeah, because if I if I didn't use that, I could have done the I could have done the blazing uh, rod or whatever it was called or the crimson steel. Okay, well let's just toss that stuff in there. We'll go ahead and repair this. So dark stone will allow me to just chop everything that's in my path. Stack upgrade. Pickup upgrade. Well, I have the magnet omni right now. So I might just do an advanced pickup upgrade at the moment. What does this need? Gold? How much gold do we have? Not a lot. Okay. Well, we'll keep this for now. We'll make a smithing table as well. Smithing table. Give me this, please. Thank you. And we'll drop the smithing table right over here, where these empty barrels are. We have one netherite scrap. Before before I keep just doing stuff, let me let me slow down and explain what I'm doing. So right now I want to upgrade my backpack to a netherite backpack. I think that would be really awesome to have. You know, backpack space is always important, especially since we go we plan to go mine for a bit of time till our backpack is essentially full. So. There are a few things that I want to do first. That is, one is make the netherite backpack. Two is to make danks. So what danks do, they allow you to store items inside of them that maybe we don't want to have sitting in our inventory uh, while we're mining. And instead of going into our inventory, we can set it up so the dank will take these items instead. Press O to change pickup mode, press I to change use type. Let's look for dank pickup mode. We'll change this to shift O. Shift O, pick up all. Shift O, filtered pickup. Okay, so filtered pickup will make so it only picks up what we have set up in, in it. And if we go to, what's really nice about JEI, I believe this works, is another rack. You can just drag it here, and you don't actually need it. So now those three will not show up. In my backpack, they'll just go straight into the dank. And we have our dark stone in our hand here. There's another upgrade we can get for our backpack. It is the restock upgrade. Keeps refilling stack of selected items in player inventories. This is what we need right here. So we'll do refill upgrade. We will upgrade it to the advanced refill upgrade. And we'll put this here. Let's see. Oh, okay, it works. Nice, and then that'll go back in my backpack as well. Just in case I end up running out, I can... Now it'll just fill back into my hand. Before I say we are set and we leave, let's recharge our jetpack, and then we'll go back to the nether. Pause, 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 pause. We will not go to the nether first. Like I mentioned, we want the netherite backpack. And for the netherite backpack, if we want to be efficient with ancient debris, what we need to do is we need to... But what we need to do is we want to get into ore processing in mechanism. And for that, we need to step over into this area here. So the purification chamber, crusher, and then chemical injection chamber. For all of this, for all of this, we're going to need a ton a ton of power so what i want to do instead is go mine in the overworld so we can get some more resources so then we can start preparing to then go back to the to the nether and mine a bunch of ancient debris let's make a sign and let's tell myself we want to mine to make Four pros processing three upgrade backpack four mine ancient debris. Okay, first we'll mine, then we'll make our ore processor, then we'll upgrade our backpack, and then we will mine some more ancient debris. This will hopefully help me stay on task more than I currently am because I am all over the damn place right now. 
I know it. I know it. You know it. We all know it. There's just the way that my brain works in this game. Okay, we still have no soul here. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I really would like to get loot the fortune 5 on this. But is there another way to take off enchantments? There's the enchantment mover. But holy cow, that needs a lot of stuff. Do we have the diamonds for that? We don't. So... I haven't messed with this before, the enchantment mover, but I'll, I'll go ahead and, uh, ooh, I'm gonna put both of these in here. Enchantment generator. Nice. Okay, so let's, let's keep that in there for something that potentially we can use to move our enchantments. Let's go back down into the mines. We really need to get a waystone down here. So let's mine a stone. Let's mine a deep slate, and we will drop those into here as well. So we don't have to worry about that. Also drop in a dirt. So now this will deal with all of those things while we're mining as well. Would you look at that? If we find any more things we want to go into there, we'll just handle that as they appear. Was this one diamond? That's okay. Hey! Asshole. You guys are punks. There's more diamonds down here. Oops, I have that. There's more diamonds. Can you guys move? Oh my goodness. You guys are spawning too fast. There we go. Got it, finally. Good lord. Now, before I continue to get ambushed, what do you guys have in here? Diamonds for me. Nice. More diamonds, huh? What the hell are you? I'm getting messed up here. I think that guy, that mob over there with the axe hit me really hard. There's a lot of loot down here. I just want to go mine and I'm getting ambushed, bro. Uh, there's so much loot over here to get, man. Oh my goodness. There's quite a lot, actually. I'm surprised. Alright, you can uh, leave me alone now. Thank you. Oops. Now we can continue our mining journey. Now, later on into the series, as endings of episodes become a little bit less tangible, and it's more so about just continuing to grind things out, there will be less of a, okay, here's our entire goal for this entire episode kind of thing going on. It'll more so just be, all right, let's play until we hit um, a decent stopping point, and then I'll just cobble it together. So let's keep let's keep on mining so we can get our ore processing factory started. We might not be able to complete that wholeheartedly. We might have to do like a like a half-assed one, but that's okay with me. What will be nice about rushing the ore processing factory as well is every item that we're already getting will also get nice boosts to how much we're processing out of it. So it's a it's a win-win to go for the uh, ore processing factory. We got quite a bit of stuff already. I don't think I don't think we have enough for what we want to do yet, but we do have quite a bit. Now, as I said before, we're going to need a lot of power. We want to make more hopper botany pots so we can start doing a melon farm. Looks like we're going to need some stone. Good thing we smelted some up earlier. So I want a compacting drawer for this. Ah, this smelted twice. Because of the way that I have those furnaces set up. Nice. Okay, we have one compacting drawer. You know, you don't have to go into my house every time. And now here is where I want to probably use mechanism cables um, for energy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the starts of step two. For the ore processing, we're going to need quite a bit of power. This melon farm will be a nice sustainable amount of power that we can work with starting off. Set up your item cables here. And right here, 
we were, we're gonna set this up so it will only accept melons once we put one in there and then the seeds that means that the seeds can go over to here uh, and what we'll want to do is put a void upgrade on that so it can just keep gathering and it won't get stuck now uh, let's make this void upgrade needs a drawer okay so like I mentioned, we'll put the void upgrade on here. This just makes it so that any extra seeds that overflow don't make the progress of the machine stop. Then we'll grab the melons that we already have. Then you put the melon in the slot here, and then you can just drop in all of your melons. Uh, what it does is essentially it takes whatever this could turn into three times from there now It'll do melon slices melons and then compressed melons. So for these we want to use uh, Really good farmland. So the way that we're gonna deal with that I'm gonna take this Inferium and we're gonna upgrade this to upgrade this we need an inferium infusion crystal which needs a prosperity prosperity and diamonds So we'll make one of these and we will make an inferium gemstone and then we will go ahead and make the inferium crystal. Let's only make 16 of those. And then we'll upgrade these a bit. We'll upgrade these one more time. Oh, actually, I'm going to need more if I want to upgrade this. Now we can make the next crystal. Okay, we have the prudentium crystal. Now we can make the tertium. Well, I cannot seem to find my hoe, so I'll go ahead and make another one our hoe and the tertium farmland or the tertium so then we can get tertium farmland boom farmland melon farmland melon and all of these are set to output so they will output into this if this runs out of space at 2000 seeds then it will just void anything else that comes through so we don't have to worry about things getting clogged up in here look at those things slowly growing Ooh. 3,913 slices. Okay, so this is where we need to think about what we want to do. You can really limit yourself here depending on how you build this. So I kind of want to build this in an open sort of fashion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to, with how I build this. So we'll go over to the boop, the old casing and faces later. Get all these out too. Do this. we might want is a buff so I forgot that um, we're using energy cables going to the base as well so I I actually just killed our our refined storage for a moment there but we're up and running again now here's where stuff can put specific chemicals here to pipe fill here around this to output here to upgrade the and do this and upgrade here. All right, steel dust two chemical tanks. Our enrichment chamber that we need to make the pressurized reaction chamber. Is this bad boy down? So we accidentally got a chemical that we don't want into our machine. What you can do is if you right click the machine and you left click with a gauge dropper, then you can take the gas that you accidentally put into it. And if you crouch right click, you can get rid of the gas. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these fluid pipes here. And we're just going to toss universal pipes throughout this whole section here. Okay, perfect. So universal pipes is working for us very nicely. We have the water coming through. From here, it's going down into this side here, and the hydrogen is pumping out as well into the machine. Now, I know this might look a bit confusing at first, but bear with me, okay? Item pipes were not allowing me to output from here 
and also do an input output from one of those pipes. But if you use universal pipes, they actually allow you to take an input and have an output. So this was the only solution <laughs> that I have to actually get what I want done here. But this will this is gonna be really nice and expandable um, in the future. It might look a little jank, but I promise this is this is expandable here. We can absolutely expand much easier having the machine layout as it is and the pipe layout as it is right now. Okay, now we are going to get onto the final machine, and that is going to be a gas burner. Now we actually skipped a machine here. You can just use a bio generator, and what this will do is it'll just simply take bio fuel, and it will allow you to just cook the bio fuel for power. But we're gonna skip ahead, and we're just gonna go straight to the gas burning generator because we've already built up that the rest of that process. You can save up your diamonds um, by instead of using diamonds or crushed diamonds in here, if you make it into an enriched diamond, instead of being worth 10 uh, millibuckets of diamond, it'll be worth 80. So it's uh, much, much cheaper for you. Now for the atomic alloy, you're going to need enriched obsidian and reinforced alloy. To get reinforced alloy, you need to take infused alloy with enriched diamonds. So yeah, it's quite a process uh, to get further and further down the machine chain. Obsidian dust into enriched. Now we can make our gas burning generator. Burn the gas. And... There we go. Okay, this only produces outputs as much as it needs to. Now in all the mods 9 this machine has been nerfed a little bit but with a fully upgraded machine chain you can still produce around 7k FE per tick with one machine. So there we go this is our auto renewable energy source for now. We don't have any upgrades in it yet. Melon generator tier 1 with no upgrades is complete. And these will just continue to grow. I mean, we started off with 3,100 melons and we're already, we've already doubled that with this crusher going. Now, we'll go ahead and put this void upgrade onto this uh, substrate drawer so this never gets stuck. This one, we don't mind it stopping once the drawer is full because that means it has a whole bunch of uh, backup uh, biofuel to use. So that is fine. But this stopping will mean that the ethylene is not rolling out anymore. So we don't want that to happen. And as you can see, the way that I set this up, it is very easily expandable up to, uh, right now we have space for four more. So we can do four more of each machine to get this rolling even further if we wanted to. But for now, we have, we have uh, renewable power kicking along. There we go. Now it's outputting. And perfect. This thing will do its thing now. Awesome. And for now, I'll just do that so it can touch all of the ethylene. And oop. so many wrench things. So now we can just go ahead and set this to pull. So this pipe will pull out of here. And we'll set this one to push. So this will push chemicals into here. Now we are wasting nothing. Very nice. And this will slowly fill up as we, you know, get more and more. Well, the cable's gonna fill up first, just because of the way we have it configured right now. Um, but that is fine. And then the chemical tank will fill up, and then we'll have some 
we'll have some backup ethylene just in case things go kick off crazy. I mean, they're going to kick off crazy after we build our ore processing factory. But yeah, basic. Uh, I want to thank you again so much for watching. We did quite a bit of mining. Uh, not enough still. Still not enough. But we have our goals that we want to work for right now. And the main one is to get that ore processor up and running. Then we want to upgrade our backpack. And then we're going to get to the nether and we're going to mine a crap ton of ancient debris. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Peace.